Hey, what's going on guys? So today I just want to talk to you about what kind of costumes we can expect to see in Insomniac's new Spider-Man game. Whether it's like unlockables or DLC or like a pre-order bonus and wh whatever shape or form it is. So this is pure speculation. None of these suits have been confirmed to make an appearance in the game. Now most of the suits on this list are suits that we have seen in, uh, that have been included in the previous games like the Amazing Spider-Man series. So first is Tom Holland's suit. Now, even though the movie and game aren't connected, there's still a good possibility that the suit will be in the game as an unlockable or a pre-order bonus or DLC. Just because, you know, I, I personally think this game could release uh, around like spring to summerish time next year. Next is the black suit, which is another fan favorite suit. The suit has the highest possibility out of all the other Spider-Man suits. That I'm about to list because it's the most well-known suit apart from their standard red and blue and it's been in a lot of spider-man games it's been in almost every spider-man game that i can think of so it, it would be it would be wrong on their part not to include it as like dlc or an unlockable or whatever form it is in next is the iron spider suit now there's, there's lots of rumors going around that this suit was supposed to be tom holland's suit in civil war and it's another rumor is going on that it's it could be Tom Holland's next suit after uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming because Robert Downey Jr. is supposed to be in the movie, and you know that that would that would all piece together him making the Iron Spider suit for Peter in Homecoming. That that thing that would work really well, and you know Iron Spider is also another fan favorite suit, and it's been around in a lot of the previous Spider-Man games as well. Our next suit, which is another high possibility, is the 2099 suit. The 2099 suit has grown in popularity over the past several years and has become and has been in quite a few Spider-Man games. There's even a whole game based off of that Spider-Man Edge of Time. The suit just looks so badass and it would be it would be a shame not to include that suit into the game as well. Next is Miles Morales' ultimate suit from the comics. It's also grown in popularity over the past few years and it had its official debut in an actual video game in Amazing Spider-Man 2. So I, I think definitely Miles Morales is becoming a lot more likable character and like a really likable Spider-Man. I definitely think he has a high possibility of being in the game, pro probably as DLC or an unlockable, not as a pre bonus. Lastly is the Scarlet Spider suit, which is another fan favorite and it's it's been a fan favorite for a long time. You know, it's it's one of those suits that's just popularity did die out a little bit for the suit. It's not as popular as some of the uh, newer and more current versions, but. This still has a good possibility of being in the game. And as an added bonus, something that they could add into the game is adding all of the Spider-Man suits from the movies. You know, both suits from the Amazing Spider-Man series, or both suits from the Raimi films. The standard black, standard red and blue, and the black suit that was in Spider-Man 3. You know, and they have, they have a lot of different options apart from just the suits I've mentioned. There's so many different Spider-Man suits. I would I would be surprised if they didn't really push their limits with this DLC, just including tons and tons of great suits. That's all I've got for you guys. Just my overall thoughts on what kind of DLC costumes we can expect to see in Insomniac Spider-Man game. If you enjoyed the video, then smack that like button. I always appreciate it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down. And I'll be back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. I'll see you guys next time.